Okay, welcome back everybody. Now for my uh, last video for time being. Um, you know, uh, like I was mentioning, Zoma and Elizabeth from the last video um, are, you know, very, very, very wasteful. Um, you know, and they've gotten, you know, themselves way into debt, you know, bad, like I said in that other video. But, I mean, like I've said in previous videos, and this is, you know, what I was talking about in that first video, you know, this is, you know, goes back into those debt collection videos I shot a while back. You know, Zelma and Elizabeth are prime examples of kind of people that would, you know, make you want to pull your hair out if you were a bill collector because they were what I would call nightmares to deal with, you know, because, you know, like if I ever had to call somebody like either one of them, they're like, you know, well, you know, up yours and hang up on you, you know, and they were just nasty the whole time. Um, you know, and like they'd have like, you know, it wasn't like, you know, a hundred dollars or like twenty dollars or thirty dollars, something like that. It would be thirty, forty thousand dollars, you know. I mean, fix some zeros in there. I mean, it would be two to three hundred dollars. I mean, thousand dollars. I mean, it was awful. <clears throat> you know, and it's like, you know, like they'd rack up credit card bills or, you know, doctor's bills or, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, <clears throat> Zoom and Elizabeth both think they are entitled to rack up however much debt bills, you know, that they can and, you know, walk away and not be responsible for any of it. Not one cent. I mean, it'd be one thing if you're, you know, struggling and like, you know, you're trying to pay for like medical bills or this or that, you know, because, you know, like say, you know, you broke your leg and couldn't work, you know, because you have a job where you have to be on your feet all the time, but, you know, that kind of mitigates the situation because you can't walk, you know, and, you know, then you end up having to come out of your check because, you know, it just snowballed, went into collection, you know, whatever. You know, you try to work it out, and then they end up taking it out of your check just because, you know, you try and try and try to pay them, try to work it out with them, and they're like, I don't think so, we're going to do it this way, and you just have to shut up and deal with it, you know. Um, you know, I mean, and one thing, you know, if you do ever, like, lose your job or you can't work because, you know, like, you break your leg or whatever, you know, and you can't, can't pay for some reason, you're not able, or quote, able to pay your bills, either in full or, you know, even on time, you know, like, and if you call, get on the phone and call whoever you owe the bills to, like, say you owe, say you owe, uh, the phone company, you know, $200, you know, and you know that you're not going to be able to pay it because you also have to pay at that same time that that phone bill comes due, you know, like your car insurance, and it, too, is $200, you know, work something out with both of them to where you can pay, you know, something a little more reasonable for both of them, um, and, you know, see where you can cut corners and stuff, um, you know, and if you call, you know, like the, you know, car insurance or like, you know, the phone company and tell them what's going on, most of them, you know, will be willing to work with you, you know, or even like the electric company. I know some creditor, credit cards, you know, are like, basically, <laughs> you know, or up yours, you know, and won't work with you for nothing. It's like, it's either A or B. It's either pay it all or we're going to keep harassing you, basically. You know, um, I know of somebody who dealt in, with city and they're that way. You know, I mean, I'm not bashing them. This is what the person told me. The person, the, the caller had told this poor soul, you know, that they, they were just awful. I mean, like, they hounded this person. I mean, day after day after day, they'd call, which is, of course, illegal. They called this person, like, 30 times a day. I mean, it was so bad, this person I knew couldn't have a conversation with their boss or their parents or their friends or, you know, and it's like their phone would just ring and ring and ring and ring and ring and ring and ring and, ring and it'd be, you know, and it'd, it'd ring from 8 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night, which is the times that they can call. Um, I know one time she, it was a woman, said that, you know, one time one snuck, tried to sneak one in at like five after nine, and she called him out on it because she had learned about, you know, the cutoff time. She said, you know, now you're going to have to start paying me money. 
she got after him for it and said, you know, I'll keep a track of when you call, how many times you call, you know, I have call ID on my phone, you know, I know what my rights are, you know, you call and if the machine picks up, if you, you know, if the machine picks up, you leave a message and don't call back no more anymore the rest of the day. And they're like, screw you, we'll call as many times as we want, you know, no. The law says you're only allowed to call us once a day. If the machine picks up, you leave a message, you know, and we'll call you back when we can, when and if we can, you know. And oh my God, this woman says she got put through the ringer with City, and then she finally got him paid off. And you know, she said, "I want no further business with you guys ever again." And after hearing about what happened to her, I don't think I will ever do business with City, but I can help it. Um. You know, but, yeah, I mean, seriously, though, on that same note, as far as, like, payment plans go, before you get on the phone with, you know, the company you're going to call, sit down and get a piece of paper and a pen and all your bills. Sit down and write down how much you can afford to pay them. You know, and once you figure out how much you clear after taxes and insurance and what have you, you know, how much, you know, like you figure out, okay, I can, you know, for this bill I can pay X amount, you know, on this I can pay this much, you know, go on down the list and make sure you leave yourself, you know, money for like food, like grocery food and gas for your car or truck or whatever you drive if you drive a vehicle, you know, but seriously though, I mean, it's people like my cousin Zelma and Elizabeth that, I mean, are prime examples of what you know, these are the kind of people that, with the exception of, I think, Texas, I know Texas for sure, you know, that people can get their debts collected on. I mean, just about every other state, you know, you default, they're going to come after you, and they can sue you, and they can take property or put liens on it or whatever. You know, I mean, seriously, they can. I mean, I'm not making this up. I mean, I wish I could tell you I was, but, you know, the people in Texas will know what I'm talking about. But, you know, anyway, I just, you know, I mean, it gets me that, you know, like I said before, that, you know, they, Zelma and Elizabeth, are just the kind of people who just don't care, and they, they are so lazy that, you know, they think that everybody else should support them, you know, Elizabeth and Zelma, and, that, you know, that they will not bother to try to work you know, out anything with anybody, or even hold down a full-time job, you know, and they don't, you know, try. I mean, they're, you know, they're annoying. I mean, and I'm like, you know, loser, big time, you know, and I'm like, you know, I pay my bills, you know, uh, the best I can. I mean, you know, like I, you know, granted, I'm not, you know, Mr. Monopoly or something, you know, Mr. Moneybank, Miss Moneybanks or something, but, you know, I mean, I... You know, my mom used to pretend I farted $100 bills. I wish. If I farted $100 bills, my hu husband, Alex, would be finding ways to give me gas. I'm serious. So I could be farting $100 bills on a more regular basis. Or, if you know, money grow on trees, you know, we'd have a tree that grew $100 bills on our house. I mean, you know, seriously. You know, but anyway, um... You know, just seriously think about, you know, being responsible for yourself, you know, as far as your money goes. And that's what I was getting at, both in this video and the last one, you know, so, you know, work with it, you know. But anyway, I'm going to pause here and think up some more stuff to, you know, talk about with you guys. So, I hope you have a good week.